Hello there. I have not done one of these recordings for a little while, but I thought I'd get back into the swing of it. Uh, I'm going to talk about generally using ACP and in a sense from a user that actually just wants to use only ACP and to run simple image, uh, a, seri a color series, and then to actually execute a plan with ACP Planner. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get into ACP here. And I'm actually using the ACP Internet version. Um, that allows you to type in an external IP address and be able to look at ACP from like uh, a tablet, a phone, you know, whatever. Uh, when you get into ACP, you have two options the simple mode which means that you actually have to log into your computer and run the browser internally um, then you have the internet version which actually allows you to do what I do most of the time uh, I just type in an IP address and here's my screen now I've actually customized my uh, ACP which is one thing it has a little bit and basically um, I've actually uh, put some pull down menus up here on top and I've put the scheduler menu here on top because I do have ACP scheduler and that's all I really ever do use. Um, this is where we're going to be getting into is live observing. Um, and of course ACP has these power, these, these sliders that you can put in. For example, if I want to see my sky conditions right now, uh, it kind of shows me what's going on here. Same thing uh, with my power panel. I can get right to my power panel here. But I'm not going to really talk about that much. Um, what I want to talk about is how you actually use this interface to actually start an image. Now we are in the daytime so we're not actually going to be imaging but I will go through these steps one by one. Now the ACP website actually has all these demos, demos on there already but I'm kind of putting it all in one uh, because I am actually in the middle of helping somebody with ACP right now and uh, this is one reason I'm making this video. So the first thing you can do is you can actually just take one single image. When you click here, you would actually put in the target name and you can just simply type it in, like M42 for example. Now you put the catalog number here, or the initial part of it, and then you put a space. That's how ACP generally works. Um, now you can go ahead and get the coordinates for this, and sure enough here they are. This is the Orion Nebulous coordinates. And how long do I want to shoot this for? I want to take a 300 second exposure. I do want to use my R, my clear, I, I call my IR filter the clear, my luminous. Um, and then uh, the binning. And you can actually autofocus before it does it. Um, I never auto calibrate, calibrate. So, but that is here. Once you click acquire image, then ACP will go ahead and start uh, running the telescope system and acquire the image. Now, like I said, we're here in the daytime. Now you always have all these help pull downs here that tells you all kinds of little information and it tells you exactly how to use everything. So this is a very good little link to have. So that's pretty much it with this. So let's close this. And the next thing I want to talk about, and this is the one that would be used more if you wanted to take a series of, uh, of a particular object. So we're going to go into color series. A color series, as you can see, it remembers what I did last time, so I won't have to do that again. Um, but it, let's just say we didn't want to do this one. Let's say we wanted to do M35. So again, I'll go get the coordinates, and here they are. Now, one thing to note about this, uh, this is live time. Um, I'm picking objects I know that are in the sky. If you tried to put in an object that is not in the sky, um, let's say M6, um, it probably won't. It won't. Re it won't return anything because M6 is not up right now. Neither is M23. So let's put 35 back in there. And again, on this situation here, we can we have uh, multiple filters, filters, and it and the default is four. And you can actually add more. So if you're shooting like an eight filter series, you can continue going. Um, again, you put in how many you want. Let's see. I want 12 here. I want of uh, the IR. I want 300 seconds, and I want it bend. Um, I also want six reds. These would be like 
180, let's just say. I want six greens. 180, six blues. Again, 180. And I'm going to bend these. I usually bend my color. That's just me because I have a longer focal length. Now, if you didn't want to actually include a filter, you can just uncheck that and it will disable that. So but we'll put that back. Uh, the other options you have here is you can actually autofocus at start. Um, you periodically autofocus every whatever minutes. And then if you want to dither, you can put in a dithering mount. Um, this would be if you're you want to take some now I have a light panel that's why it says screen flats if you don't have a light panel then it will say sky flats but you can check that option and it will go ahead and run a series of flats and then you can even shut down the observatory now if you have ACP and you want a friend to go ahead and just uh, take a picture see what it's like you, uh, you can actually set up a little guest account uh, and let them do that um, uh, so this is kind of one way of keeping them from getting into your observatory as well. But this is good for a person that doesn't want to use planner. He's up all night anyways, and he just wants to do one object at a time. So again, once I hit acquire images, it will go ahead and start the run. Now it actually would not start the run. It will wait until it gets dark. So you could actually click on this now and run. Now I'm actually using version 8, which is kind of a pre-release but this is pretty much going to be the way it is. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is using planner. So let's go ahead and minimize that for now. And we're going to go back into planner. And uh, it's right here. OK, so here is AC planner. And um, like I said in the other video, uh, there is an extensive website uh, demos on the ACP website. So if you want to learn all about Planner, that's where you need to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set up a little plan file here. And um, you just right, basically you right click in here, add your target. Again, I'm just going to put M42 for the heck of it. Um, and I want it to do I wanted to get the right ascension and the deck from the deep sky object lookup. So that's all I have to do here. And we're going to go ahead and create an LRGB series. And we just go through each filter like this. Again, I'm going to bend these. Now, if this is, oh, actually, this is not the binning. This is just the exposure. So let's put 12 here, 12 here, 12 here, 12 there. And this is where we can change the bin. I'm doing this for a reason, actually. Now, if this is something you do all the time, you can actually save this as a preset, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I can right click here and rename it LRGB, whatever, and hit update. And that should uh, put that in there just like that. This way it's here for if you want to go ahead and another, add another object. Uh, one thing we do have to do is you have to click this update here. So we're going to add another object. Okay, we're just going to pick some object. And this time, see, I can actually take this and hit apply. And it kind of saves time. Again, we can do Dawn Flats at the end and shut down, but I'm not, I don't care about that right now. So we're going to go ahead and save this, and we're going to call it Tonight's Run. And I'll replace that, and we can say, usually you say no to this. And this is here's the plan. This is pretty much a basic plan. Okay, so now we have a plan. So why did I do this? Because we are actually not logged into the observatory right now. So we need to get the plan over there. So let's go back to the website. And in the documents section, and this documents, my documents, only shows up if you have the internet version of uh, ACP. If you have the local one, you won't have one of these. This won't show up. So observing plans here. And um, you can see um, 
there's here's my here's the plan which I actually already left here. I meant to delete that, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you anyways how it works. I want to actually upload. Actually, this is one thing nice. We can actually delete this. So let's just delete this. Yeah. Okay. What I wanted to show you was I need I need to upload my plan. So I'm gonna select the file, hit choose, and I'm gonna select the plan file that I just created. Okay. So here it is. Now I'm ready to upload it. Okay, so it's been uploaded, but you don't see it. So let's hit the refresh, and there it is. Now if we need to view the plan, we can, but I'm not going to do that. Now that this is done, it's actually on the observatory computer. So we're going to come up to here, and this time we're going to go multiple objects, plan. And as you can see, I actually create subfolders, uh, which you can do as a mult, but if you come here, you'll see tonight's run. So now I'm ready to go ahead and execute this and all I have to do is hit acquire images. Once I do that, ACP will start running the plan. That's how easy it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.